horses and the Rohirrim have been tied together since they, before they were the Rohirrim, when they were the Aeotheod, they've forever been involved in raising horses and training horses and riding horses to war. The Miras are the lords of all horses. They're sort of a strain of horses with, with extremely pure blood going back to time immemorial, who have developed this affection and mutual admiration for the kings of, uh, and princes of Rohan. I looked uh, at horses that might have some kind of connection with royalty in the real world, and when you think about those, things that come to mind are the battle mounts of the High Middle Ages. And the Andalusian horse, the Carthusian horse, and the Frisian horse uh, have a body type and an anatomy that is extremely muscular, but not overly so. Just as you might um, think about a, a lean thoroughbred for the track, you wouldn't expect to see an armored warrior riding that horse into battle. And so the body type of the horses, the way they look in game, is different. Another thing that we did is we gave them uh, very prominent feathering on their, on their hooves, which adds an element of floating to the, the effect when you see them run. We are now at a point where the horses will be customizable in the way that avatars are. They'll have different slots that uh, uh, players will be able to uh, you know, customize. You can now manipulate their appearance piece by piece. Your head and neck gear will be able to be changed, your body gear on sort of the haunches, as well as you know, leg protection. These are all things that players will be able to control individually. There are three different kinds of war steeds. There's a light, medium, and heavy. The light's going to be a little bit more mobile. Uh, the heavy steed will obviously be a little bit more of a tank. And each one of those steeds will have their own trait tree that as you progress, as you level up, uh, you'll get points that you can then dump into those trait trees. Traits that might include affecting things like your ability to turn sharply, balance-oriented type things, your speed, how well they can evade in battle. You'll be able to ride your war steed around as a travel mount in the places where mounted combat isn't a game mechanic that, that's in play. There are a few that we're doing war steed versions of, so some of the most popular travel mounts will have war steed armor sets made from their designs so that players will be able to emulate what they may have liked on their travel mount on the war steed.